Hi everyone, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past. Aw, thank you. I think you're cute too. Uh, just a little reminder, we got our new, new little emote, our King Ditto emote. I think he's pretty cool, so if you think he's pretty cool, you can follow and use him wherever you want. But yeah, when last time we left off, we finally filled up the party with uh, this random old guy. Um, nah, I think that King Ditto should be... Uh, I mean, yeah, you can sub if you want. I'm not going to stop you. That'd be super swell too, but you definitely don't have to. Your views and the follows are uh, enough. Anyway, I don't. We didn't even look at Mervin last time. So I, does he even have? He has no job. He's a an unemployed legendary hero. So we should go fix that. Um, and he's not much stronger than than Maribel. Great, cool. So I'd imagine that he's uh, retired. Sure. I would imagine that he is going to be suited to something of a warrior. Does he know any spells? Okay, we've got mid-heal, so he might be more of a paladin type. And he has the underpants dance. Great. Cool. Do we have any? We have one fragment. Cool. So why don't we go to all trades first? A Yangus classic. Exactly. But who's Yangus, you ask? Well, just have to, just have to keep watching. So let's take a look at the advanced classes and see what we want. Go armament armamentalist might be fun with warrior and mage. Um, Pirate is thief and sip. What's champion? Oh no, these are the the level threes. Okay. Okay. And what is luminary? Luminary is dancer, jester, and true or geez. Okay, so let's go for Armamentalist. So let's make him a warrior first. We do. And we're almost, Ruff has almost mastered Gladiator, so that's cool. So we want warrior. Oh no, that's that's awful. <laughs> that's extremely fast. It's thief. Man, I hate all those. Okay, warrior it is. All right. So, I think maybe let's take a quick peek down at um, the town of Seekers of Mervyn, the Labravor. Uh, there it is. Let's see if they have anything for us. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this man speak the truth? Is this village truly home to the descendants of the Holy Order of the Almighty? Tis hard to believe that those who carry the blood of such gallant warriors in their veins would be living in so tranquil a village. Hey, man. It is what it is. Let's see if what's his dunk gives us anything. Here we go. Alors, is this your do? This is your doing, no? You are the ones who revived the mighty hero of the ancients? 
Sir Lizalot, allow me to introduce you to the, these mighty warriors. Eh? You what? Who's that, you say? Oh, but there is no need to feign ignorance, Sir Lizalot. Surely you recognize your comrades in arms. These are the warriors who rescued you from the captivity inside the stone. Uh, oh, those warriors. Yeah, of course. How could I forget? Thanks for that. I owe you one. Now, Sir Lizalot, let us continue our conversation around the dinner table. Uh, sure. In a bit. But first I want to, uh, have a private word with our friends here. Huh? But surely it'd be more comfortable to do this over a little snack, no? <laughs> uh, no. I'm afraid this isn't really dinner conversation. It's, um, important top secret stuff about the end of the world. Yeah, it's on need to know basis and you don't need to know. Sorry and all that. <laughs> this dude's name is literally Sir Lizalot. Look, I'm really sorry about this little uh, mix-up. This is a spur of the moment thing, you understand. I didn't mean any harm by it. That honoré bloke told me all about you. I feel like I owe you an explanation. It wasn't like I swanned into town claiming I was a legendary hero. I never wanted to pull wool over the eyes of any gullible small town folk or anything like that. It was all Honoré's fault, really. The moment he saw me, he just decided I was this amazing person he'd been waiting for. So I went along with it, and even gave the locals a blast of magic to show him that I was the real deal. After that, I had them eaten out of my hand. For the first time in my life, I was a bona fide hero. I all went to my head a bit, and it was then it was too late to stop it. Now I just can't face telling the folks here that I'm a big fat liar. Listen, I need you to do me a massive favor. Don't tell anyone I'm a fake, and help me worm my way out of this sticky little situation. You do that for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You could have been really hor about, horrible about this if you wanted. Okay, listen. I'm going to thank everyone for their hospitality and tell them that I have to be on my way. If you play along and keep your mouth shut, I should be able to make my getaway, and then we can forget this ever happened. I come Mervyn has nothing to say about this. He's totally cool. Ah, I would love to stay, or I would love to know what you were discussing with Sir, Sir Lies a lot. Mais non, this is top secret discussion related to the future of the world. It is none of my business. Pardon, I do not mean to be so nosy. I hope you can forgive me. Just remember, all that stuff I told you back there is between you and me. If you tell anyone, it could jeopardize the future of the entire world. Oh, well, who am I kidding? I'm just trying to save my own skin. But I appreciate it if you could keep your mouth shut. Okay. Bah, was this hero staying here? The food bills have become astronomical. But I know that I cannot complain. I know how important this is to Monsieur Honoré. No, I must suffer in silence. Okay, I mean, I guess that's all we have to do. Oh, c'est un con rêve. It is like a dream. To have all these heroic people here in my house is unbelievable. Okay. I guess that's everything? Hmm. I guess let's go to the shrine. So while we were gone, some fake heroes come in and all become the talk of the town, has he? Ah, it's always the same. We do all the hard work and we never get a shred of recognition. Is there something we need to do here? I don't think so. Maybe go to the tavern? Because there's nothing here that's like, interact with this, oh, hero of legend. So it seems Honoré has decided that the strange warrior who has come to this village is the hero of legend. I'm a little nervous. Once Honoré decides something is true, it's very difficult to change his mind. They say that the Almighty somehow sealed away the mightiest hero in the world to protect all of the futures. I thought it was just a legend, but now he is here in this very village. It is un peu bizarre, no? Very strange indeed. Un peu. 
Hmm. Solely oil than mine, blah blah blah, flying stone. So our an ancestors evaded the evil demon king by soaring freely through the sky in a shrine powered by this flying stone. It was a shrine. Oh, right, and it crashed the ground. Oh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I guess I'll just leave. Flying stone, I know. Seems neat. All right, I guess let's... I really don't... No, they had like a... Zenithia castle sort of thing going on. Hopefully we are good with just this one red fragment. Do do. Hopefully it's this one. No. Shoot, okay. It means we gotta go find him. Doing. All right. I guess let's ask for guidance. Can't seem to hear anything at all. Seems like today's not your day. Ah, so we definitely have to do something with Mervyn then. Hmm. Hmm. La Bravore is the only place I can think of that would have actually changed now that we have him. I guess let's go back there. Maybe let's take a ride over to the uh... Suspicious. Take a ride over to the shrine. This guy just tells us about the thing, right? Sir Mervyn's soul does sleep within the stone. The stone shall wake as away from me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hmm. I'm just not sure like what the proof of providence is. I didn't update the overlay, you're right, hang on. It's unacceptable. Uh... Tisk indeed. We're just it's been so long since we had since we had somebody new to add. Okay, <laughs> he's quite large. We just remembered. <laughs> you did it. There we go. 
Got him. <laughs> well, good. Well, I bear no ill will towards him. He is a prisoner of his lie, just as I once prisoner of that stone. Vraiment magnifique. I believe that the people of La, La Bravoire have been fooled by the noble appearance of this so-called hero. Bien sûr, he is an unusual sword and exotic armor, but does this mean he is really who he says he is? No, he doesn't. He's stepping on rough, it's fine. Man, where's... Well, he's going to always be stepping on Ruff. Because Ruff is his own thing. Mervyn's not actually part of the overlay. I just threw him in there as a other thing. So the legendary hero has come here. And the home of the descendants. Oh, to the home of the descendants of the Holy Order of the Almighty. Perhaps it is written in the stars. We, it seems that destiny is at work here. Yeah. Yeah, rough is part part of it. <laughs> part of it. Oh, I recognize you. Honoré gave you the magic carpet, no? This must mean that it was you who revived the legendary hero. Thank you so much. Millier, millier, mille, mille. Merci. Jeez. Too many L sounds. Cat. Meow, meow. There is no doubt about it. It is the mighty hero to whom the Almighty entrusted the future of the world. He proved his heroic credentials by turning a big tree into a charred stump. His magnifique is so, so powerful that everyone in the village is in awe of him. Okay. Oh, il est trop gentil. He is so kind. The legendary hero just gave me a magnificent shoulder massage. With a true gentleman like that on our side, the future of the world is assured. Parallelogram. I feel like I'm reading the French as, like, German. But, oh well. What can be done? Also, why doesn't Mervyn have a French accent? Hmm. It's Magic Brian adjacent. Yeah, that's much closer to German than it is French. When we tell the stories of the fables to the children, we are not wasting our time. Non, c'est très important that the memories of our ancêtres and the ancient battles of our past are kept alive. According to, Le to legend, there was once an epic battle between good and evil, and in the end, the Almighty was defeated. The evil king, however, was also drained of his power, and his final act before disappearing was to veil the world in darkness. Okay. Yes, but what am I to do about it? Sorry, couldn't get to the, the mute in time. That one snuck up on me. Hmm. Thank you. We've definitely, oh, the lady. Say incroyable, incredible. Did you know that their ancestors flew through the air in these amazing shrines? Within one day, the flying stone just lost its power and it crashed into the ground. Boom! Mon grand-père told me that some of the survivors built this village, but how does grandpa know this? Uh-huh. Okay.
talk to her again? No? The only place we haven't been is back through here. Nothing here. Hmm. Okay, I guess to the walkthrough. This is a very poorly laid out walkthrough. So that's chapter one. Oh, we haven't done this. Okay. Weird. I don't know why you're supposed to know to do this, but... Because there's no indication that this is somewhere you need to go, just somewhere that uh, you can go. So over here in the wetlock area. We should be able to go back to the sunken citadel. Okay, well, I guess we should kit out Mervyn too. There it is. See if we have anything in the bag that he can use. That'll help him. There you go, Mervyn. Okay. He's already got an iron shield. Bronze shield, okay. He has a steel broadsword. Interesting. Hey, there's a fragment here. Nice. Moi? Humans? Why would humans come to a place like this? And how did you get down here anyway? Bzzzt. This citadel is ruled over by the g g g g sea demon that ever lived. He doesn't usually have many g g g g visitors. Okay. <gasps> nice. Gimme. 
Okay, so that gets us a new place, but there's still more to be found. nice that there's no enemies. Huh? What are you doing down here? This is our citadel. Get out! No. I'm gonna break your pot and I'm gonna leave. Of my own volition, not because you told me to. Excuse me. Very sticky monolith. Look at this guy. Parp. Blurg. Humans. Blurg. This. My. Place. Parp. Okay. There's nothing in that pot. Zero. Hey, thank you for the raid, bud. Appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Playing some Dragon Quest Seven. We finally have a full party member. I heard that someone called King Scoober lives somewhere around here. I wonder what sort of creature would have a name like that. I don't know, y'all tell me. Who is the stranger danger following me? Well, that's Sir Mervyn, the hero of legend. Don't you recognize him? I thought everybody knew who Sir Mervyn was. Snap, snap. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> Nailed it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hopefully we don't have to... Oh, look at all those pots I could break. Man, that's so many pots. But we are currently... Well, now we've found it, but we were needing more fragments to be able to go to a new island. I mean, he seems the type, doesn't he? Especially in this stupid warrior skullcap thing. But no, we don't know anything about him and it's not right to judge him. g g, -g goomans Bzzzt. I've never seen a real live Goomans before. But I did hear that you live on the land, so I'm quite surprised to see you all the way down here. Bzzzt. How could c come goo can breathe underwater? You know, that's a great question. And I don't have the answer for you, man. Don't even know how I got here. Ooh, freaking. I mean, I can't stop you from doing any of that. That's not my place. All right, and then that one's broken off, okay. Was it? This one that we had to move? This one. Give it a shove. I'm sorry. We were uh, not home. We were driving home. Only got home about 15 minutes before I had to start streaming. We were out at Dave and Buster's. Hello. We're not so keen on violence, you know. We just want to live a quiet life here in the Citadel. That's why we'd really appreciate it if you didn't tell anybody else about this place. You got it. A pilchard pie. Oh, right. We have to fill his inventory up so that we don't have all this garbage. Does anybody else want this? That is going to be better than the bunny ears, huh? Who's Dave? Oh, you know, Dave and Buster's. They got the they got all the games. And the foods. For people to play so that you can earn tickets and not buy anything because everything costs like 8,000 tickets and you get like 20 per game if you're lucky. DQ Buddies 7. I wish. 
kind of like a main event. We have those. We have Gaddy Towns here in Texas. Chuck E. Cheese, but for adults. Look at this guy. I'm gonna break your pot, bud. Broke your pot. Snip, snip, I heard that there's a place in this world where all sorts of monsters can gather. Some kind of meadow. Apparently they'll give you f all the food you can eat and you don't have to do anything to earn it. Doesn't that sound great? I'd love to live in a place like that. Well, I'd love to get you set up with that, but uh, they won't let me. So, not much that can be done. Yeah. <gasps> Pots. One of these is, an, is a monster. At least one of these is a monster. There's the first one. Lemon seeds. Yay. Got it. Almost out of that lemonade. Bop. Bop. Yep. I'm going to say, I bet there's two. Oh yeah, we have thin air. Let's try that. The cheat button. Oh. It doesn't cheat against these guys. Okay. Dead. Boink. Ah. Sad. Moi. Oh, hello. You look like a nice young man. Yes, I think I like you. Moi. Okay. I'm gonna leave. You're weird. Clatter clang. Ow. Okay. The other day, when I was buzzing around the citadel, I found a goo 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 or goo aureus looking piece of stone. What's that? What did I do with it? Psst! I g gave it to Gracos like I'm slurposed to. He likes to keep buzz keep buzzy, collecting strange things. I have n n n no idea what he oozes them for. Well, it sounds like he has stuff that we need. <laughs> the great sea demon dwells at the bottom of these stairs. I should warn you, he really doesn't like humans. I wouldn't go anywhere near him if I were you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should heal up then. Just don't use the final one. Yeah, it's good enough. Oh! He's quite large. Okay. 
Interesting. The chest is locked tight, and you can't use the thief's key. Humans? What are humans doing here? Don't you know who I am? I am Gracos V, of the most fearsome line of sea demons ever to rule the waves. The first of my line was defeated by humans just like you. And I have hated your species ever since, though I have also feared you. After all, when you decide to put your minds to something, you can be worryingly powerful creatures. Nevertheless, I cannot allow you to swan into my citadel unchallenged. Your trespass must be punished. You will regret this day, humans, believe me. And you will have no one to blame for your fate but your own foolish selves. Boss fight. I'm not recording. Oh no. <laughs> Boo. That sucks. Oh well. I have to get it from Twitch. Boo. What if we just... What if we just hit him? Let's see if we can hatchet man. Oh! Hatchet man him. Wait. Uh, helm splitter. That's what it's called. There it is. No battle abilities. Bang, swoosh, mid heal, poof. Yeah, just attack him. Wow. Okay, there's 94. Ow. You don't know Squelch? What? Weird. Priests don't learn squelch? Huh. Weird. I'll have to see if somebody's holding an antidotal herb. Or maybe Monarch knows that? You know, it's fizzle. Nope. Well, this is going well. Falcon Slash takes two. Ow. Well, it turns out we don't have anybody who can cast Squelch, which is a weird oversight. I'm not sure what class gets that if it's not Priest. Alright, alright. And just keep attacking. Haha. Doink doink. I mean, we're not really threatened by him right now. 
The envenomation is really the worst thing that he's doing. Shepherd 2, Pirate 1. I guess Pirate would be good against him, huh? Does this count as being in the ocean? Ow! Okay, right, we need to kabuff. At least, I don't feel like he's doing anything all that terrible, just the envenomation is kind of awful, or kind of awkward, but nothing we can't handle. Especially with a fourth person for once. Oh no! He really wanted her dead. Come on, he had 21 or fewer HP left. Uh, wait, stop, I give up. I surrender. Take my treasure. Take whatever you want. All I ask is that you spare my life. I do not wish to die. Please say that you will have mercy. Yeah, sure. You have my thanks. I have learned an important lesson. Humans are indeed to be feared, even the less impressive seeming specimens. For a moment, I thought I might perish in the same manner as my glorious ancestor, but no. Now, I mentioned rewarding you with one of my treasures. Let me see. Here, how about this odd piece of seemingly useless stone tablet? Yes, perfect. Yeah, the, or I mean, the one, um, the one in six was no joke. Ooh, is that yellow? Or is that, that's not colored, is it? Interesting. Mysterious fragment, ooh. You see, it is rather odd, no? But I have a strange feeling that it may be more valuable than it appears. It has a use, a purpose. And when you discover that purpose, you may thank your old friend Gracchos, the fifth. Yeah, let me look at that here. It looks like a piece of a larger hole. There's a map etched into it. Interesting. this work? No. Okay. Wow, for a great sea demon, that guy was pretty pathetic. Yeah, he killed you, so maybe let's lay off the insults. Thankfully, we did not have to do any of the other puzzles for this game, for this place. It's weird that it didn't tell us about that mysterious, or the, about that red fragment that was here. that I can't get into. Either of these places south of here. I don't even 
remember what this is. What is that? Oh, that's the witch's house. Huh. Was there something here? I feel like there might have been something here related to the legendary hero. <laughs> Meow. Okay. Tis an eternity I have waited. The light which once illuminated the lands has long since been extinguished, and still I wait. But I have faith that it is not all in vain. Nay, the one day my duty shall be fulfilled. I have faith that the ruins in which the Almighty sleeps shall one day be discovered. I, and when the sacred stone spoken of in legend is brought here, I shall know that it is time. Okay. Alright, so we need some sort of sacred stone. Got it. Anyway. Boom, boom. Not yellow. We need red. I think it's the bottom left ones that we have pieces for. Yes. Doing. Ooh, double castles. <gasps> Metal slime. Knight. Scarlet scorpions. Doink. Ooh, fancy. Okay. They're probably immune to thin air. Heal back up. Doink. And Hero barely lived through all that. Assassin's Dagger, baby. Skirmisher. Hey, it's like the big bad from that one town. And he's just a little guy now. He's just a little guy. Oh, we found the Ruckers, okay. Travelers, eh? Well, this is Rucker Castle. It ain't looking its best right now, but you're welcome to have a nose around if you like. Okay. There was a time when people would tremble at the mere mention of the Rucker Empire. But after being humbled by the forces of Hubble, all of our old swagger is gone. They are. But this appears to be a time after that. 
I'm not happy about this, I tell you. I'm a soldier, not a bricklayer. It's been a year now since the enemy attacked the castle and left it in this sorry state. We've been rebuilding it ever since, but it's not even close to being back to its full glory. But it's looking a lot better than it did. Yeah, sure. Probably save. I do. I know the people of Hubble are, are sworn enemies, but the way that lot wield magic on the battlefield is really something to behold. They overwhelmed us, but they didn't slaughter us. In fact, there were hardly any casualties at all. Weird. The sword is mightier than the wand. That's what us Ruckers used to say. That's all changed now. Ever since Hubble defeated us using magic alone, we've lost all of our confidence. <laughs> it's just a room for bricks. Bricks for room. You see that guard over there? captain of the guard was like a father to him until he was killed by those wizards from Hubble. Okay, they just said there weren't any casualties. I've never quite understood why they did that. They let our emperor live, but not the head of our army. Damn you! Take that, Hubble scum! Charp! Okay. The emperor is inside. I trust I don't need to tell you to show due deference. This is where the troops duke it out to see who's the toughest. But with all the rebuilding work going on, we ain't got much time for good old scrap no more. Oh, excuse me. It's fighting those yawns back. What you got? They may have destroyed my shop, but they'll never take my freedom. My freedom to make money, that is. <laughs> Ow, my spirit. I do actually need more of these, so. You're in luck. There's always room in your bag. Ooh, heavy armor would be good to have. That's really the only thing he has that we could want, but like everybody wants that. That's cool, we need a casual 27 grand. No, 28.50, Jeez. Every time I think we have like a decent amount of money in this game, I'm always reminded that that's wrong. It is rare indeed for us to receive visitors these days. I am sorry to report that ever since our defeat at the hands of Hubble, the Emperor has been mired in a state of deepest gloom. Perhaps if you told him something of your travels, it might cheer him up a little. Ten years ago, Hubble was an all but broken kingdom under the iron heel of the mighty Rucker Empire. How things have changed. Those spell slingers have gone from military pygmies to lords of war with unseemly speed. From what I hear, they owe it all to the tireless energy of their young monarch. I'd certainly like to meet him one day. Off the battlefield, I mean. He sounds like quite the character. 
Okay, nothing else to say here. Does our party have anything to say? So that's it. This is the... This is... This place is in ruins because some silly squabble they've been having with the neighboring kingdom. Well, it sounds like the fighting's over, at least. Anyway, whatever's going on here, it's their business. It's got nothing to do with us. For once, we agree. Chagoil. Sure, we are looking forward. Got all sorts of places we could go. Let's go to town first. Hubble. Welcome to Hubble, the home of magic. No one may enter the Inquisitory without the King's express permission. So unless you've got a very good reason to be here, you should make yourself scarce. The Inquisitory. Eh, I haven't seen you around here before. I'll bet you're angling for a job at the Inquisitory, aren't you? No? Ah, okay. Probably for the best. You don't really look like the magical sort. Excuse me, I have a sage in my party? So much yawning. I trekked all the way here to sell my services to Hubble's army, but they weren't interested. Right, yeah. What could he even look like? How would you know? It is the Magic Kingdom. Disney's Magical Kingdom. I pleaded with them, and I said I even had a few magical tricks up my sleeve, but I was told that they only employ the creme de la conjuring creme. Okay. Again, I have a sage. One day, we'll get there. The magic key. Ooh, magic shield, magic shield. Ayo. I heard that they're trying to revive the incantation. As to what that actually means, your guess is as good as mine. They've put a bleeding blockade on the road south to the Conjutorium, and now you can't get down there without royal bleeding permission. And from what I hear, the king just made him build it without saying even why. Reckon he must have a screw loose or something. Please, game, thank you. Yeah, that would make sense. Like I said, we need that heavy armor. It's just nine, it's 9,500 each. Peace be upon you, I am Father Martin, priest of this parish. I have ministered to the needs of people of the town ever since leaving the service of the royal family. The new king and myself, the new king and me, the new king and I, didn't exactly see eye to eye, so I thought it better to leave the castle and come here. That was all some months ago. I just cannot understand what he is trying to achieve. 
The kingdom's military capabilities are more than adequate. Why can he not focus his energies elsewhere? Hmm. Perhaps I've said too much. Please, you must forget all that I've said. Ever since his father stepped aside two years ago, the new king has been pulling out all the stops to turn Hubble into a military superpower. We all thought it was a good idea at first. I mean, we had some troublesome neighbors after all. But now that we've defeated the Ruckers, we're not sure what the king thinks he's doing. Who needs a strong army when you've got no enemies? He just won't listen to reason though, he's like a man possessed. Father Martin only joined us here six months ago. Before that he worked up at the castle. Apparently he was a childhood friend of the king. Better save. Yeah, yeah. After we won the war with the Ruckers, I thought things would just go back to normal, but no such luck. The king still seems hell-bent on turning the country into some kind of great military power. I really don't know what's gotten into him. Hmm. Okay. Anything interesting? Not especially. We have 16 of these things in the bag. Guess we should start putting one in every person's inventory, huh? What's the king thinking? Strengthening the army even further? Who's he planning on fighting exactly? My daughter's learning magic, and she might even end up being recruited one day. Can't help but worry about her. I mean, who knows what the future holds? The Ruckers aren't even a threat anymore, but the King's showing no sign of changing his policy. He's still going all out to build up the army. Well, I'm all for it if it means my midge will have a chance to suit, uh, have a chance of a secure job when she grows up. A point you have. Jeez, town of empty dressers. Oh, it's a thankless task scrubbing the wizard's smalls all day long. You'd think they'd have a spell for that, wouldn't you? I heard that somewhere out there, there are people who can fly. Just imagine soaring through the sky without a care in the world. Oh, it'd be heaven. Frizz! Okay, you did it. Ah, I just can't get seem to get the hang of this. I do it right sometimes, honest. I'd stand back if I were you. You wouldn't want to get your eyebrows singed. Only real magical maestros can get jobs in the Inquisitor, you know. It's a job with a lot of perks, which is why so many wizards aspire to work there. None so more than Little Midge. 
If you're looking for Hubble Castle, go straight on from here and cross the bridge. I don't want to give too much away, but if you've never seen it before, you're in for a treat. I like treats. My husband studies from morning until night, day in, day out. I just wish we could spend a little bit of quality time together. I'm afraid I have no time to talk now. You're interrupting my valuable study time. If I want to land, land myself a plum position in the Inquisitory, I've got to hit the books hard. The first steps on the road to wizardhood. Frizz, frizzle, cuff frizzle. Heel, mid heel, full heel. Hocus pocus, hocus pocus, hocus pocus. Sadly, it doesn't turn out to be very useful. Ah, a hexacon jumps down from the top of him. Why was this in your house, man? Nice crit. Sure. And he was never seen again. I cannot with the door, jeez. I'm afraid it's authorized folks only beyond this point. If you want in, you're going to need to get permission from some bigwig or other and try your luck at the other entrance. Hubble Castle. I haven't seen you before. What business do you have here in Hubble? Oh, hold on. You wouldn't happen to be the envoy, would you? No. No, I thought not. I mean, the envoy is hardly going to be a little boy, is he? Well, in any case, if you don't have any business here at the castle, you should probably be on your way. Hmm. Really, you again? What do you want this time? You're not going to tell me that you are actually the envoy all along, are you? Yes. Y you are? I I see. Well, the king has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. I, uh, I suppose I'd better let you through then. Hold on a second. There's something that doesn't sit right with me. Surely the envoy can't be a small boy. I'm afraid I'm going to have to give you... run. I'm going to have to run this by the king. But feel free to wait inside the castle until I return. I wouldn't want you to catch a chill. Hey, thanks. Good looking out. So you're the envoy, eh? Well, I know the king's been expecting you, so you'd better wait inside for my colleague's return. If you're looking for the guard who was posted at the main gate, he's gone to speak with the king. I'm afraid I can't let you pass until he returns. Please be patient. I'm sure it won't be long. So we have fake urns, and we have fake books, and we have fake chests, but we don't have fake barrels. Interesting. Hello there, I'm the wand maker. I make wands. I've not made a wand for you before though. Would you like me to make you a wand? Yeah, sure. Fake. Don't know what that means. Well, tough luck. With all the wands the king is ordering, my assistant and I are working flat out. Speaking of which, why is that work? Sh where is that work shy oaf? He should be back here now. Knowing him, he'll be dawdling somewhere, doing something of no import. Gasp. That's different.
Ta-da! Dinner is served. Lizards, gizzards, witches, warts, and tears of the black cat. Oh, don't look so alarmed. It's just my little joke. It's only pickled fish eyes. Gross. I thought wizards would be too busy with their books and their wands to think about food. Turns out that most of them spend far more time suffering or stuffing their faces than they do casting spells. Sorry, no time to talk. Busy, busy, busy. If only there was a wand we could wave so dinner would be magically ready, but no such luck. Yeah, folks, I don't know if I'm going to make it uh, the full normal length of the stream. I'll try and clear this castle, but I uh, am definitely struggling. Well, the good thing is, we're going to try and talk to everybody anyway. Oh, who's this? Huh? Say again? No, no, I'm not the king. Well, I may have once been, but not any longer. My son succeeded me two years ago. Now my wife and I are enjoying our retirement. The boys really turned the kingdom around, you know. We've gone from being a rather puny pretender to becoming a real force to be reckoned with. But it's not without its little problems. It's wonderful that we're doing well, but I'm not alone in thinking that he may have taken things rather too far. I fear for his future, if I'm honest. If you speak with my wife over there, you'll see that she shares my concerns. Nothing special in royal wardrobes? Good day to you. I am the mother of the current king. Now please don't think me too presumptuous, but I wish to ask a favor of you. You are travelers, yes? I thought as much. Now before I burden you with my little errand, allow me to explain one or two things. There is a great center of magic to the south of here known as the Grand Conjutorium, which, with which Hubble has always enjoyed most cordial relations. Recently, my son decided to sever all ties with the place, and even went so far as to set up a blockade on the road linking it to our kingdom. I don't care what his reasons may be, isolating ourselves from, a magically, from our magically inclined brethren is pure folly. Without them, we are nothing. I would like you to deliver a message to the Supreme Magical Potentiate who heads the Conjutorium. Will you do this for me? Yeah, sure. I'm very grateful to you. Here. A letter. Oh, a missive. Excuse me. It is most important that you deliver this to the Wizard-in-Chief personally. I wish to reassure him that the Kingdom of Hubble has no hostile intentions toward him and his people. Whenever you reach the blockade, show the guards the royal seal on the letter I have given you. They are sure to let you pass. It doesn't seem like it because there seem to be a lot of magically inclined people here. I'm not really sure what their deal is. This castle has four towers, one in each corner. Did you know that each one has a name? I didn't. If you didn't, well, it's your lucky day because I'm about to enlighten you. As you enter the castle, the tower on your right with a nice blue brickwork is known as the Water Tower. Head north from that tower and you'll reach the one with yellow walls known as the Earth Tower. Tower to the left as you enter the castle is the Fire Tower. It's got bright red walls. And north from there, you'll get the Wind Tower with white walls. You might have a bit of trouble finding your way around at first, but it's elementary once you get used to it. So are you feeling suitably enlightened? Yes. I'd expect nothing less, but if you ever want me to run you through it all again, just say the word. Ah, I remember what like it was yesterday, marching on the Rutgers castle with the king leading the charge. He was so courageous and dashing and utterly fearless, I was proud to call him my king. I wish I could still say that the... Wait, why am I telling all of these things to perfect strangers? Yeah, we don't even know Squelch. You're not wrong. 
Let's go clear the other tower's upper floor. Oh. Hey! Floating! Floating castle! Egads, what sorcery is this? Mayhap this strange device gives access to the hallowed hall in which resides the monarch of this land. Come, let us investigate further. Man, I don't know, Mervyn. I am fading fast. I'm going to do the upper floor here, and then I think I'm just going to call it, because it's no good for me to just be yawning in y'all's faces this whole time. Shh, this isn't the place for idle chatter. Can't you see we're busy honing our magical abilities? There's no response. He seems to be in a deep trance. The same. Definitely Eevees. Huh? Oh, please, I was just on the verge of entering a higher magical plane. I'll have to start all over again. Honestly, can't you go and interrupt someone else? Well, when you say it like that, no. I'm going to stand here and break your concentration over and over and over. Over and over and over and over and over again. And over and over and over. I'm going to get wrapped up into this, though. I just know it. Okay, good. Ow. Oi, I just spoke to the king and he stated categorically that the envoy is not a little boy. You're not the envoy at all. Admit it. You lied to me, didn't you? Yeah. Ha! You don't even have the decency to be ashamed. Unbelievable. Well, it doesn't make any difference either way. Go away and stay away. Okay. Can I still use the church? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's liars. Go away and stay away. Okay. Like, make a note to download this from Twitch later. <laughs> Meow. Alright. That'll have to do it for me tonight. Sorry, folks. Just... Too sleepy. Plus, I have to be up at like 5:30 tomorrow. So, yay! Um, but thanks for stopping by, Zero. Thanks for the raid. Super appreciate it. I promise I will drop by for your next stream. Pinky swear. <laughs> I'll draw. I'll be there. But uh, good night, everybody. I'll catch you tomorrow for more Pokemon. Project Vanguard. Bye-bye.